forever. You are worthy of all our praise. My Redeemer, you are worthy to praise. You are worthy to be praised. Oh, you are worthy to be praised. My you are worthy to be praised. Oh, you are worthy to be praised. Lord, you are worthy to be praised. Oh, you are worthy to be praised. Oh, change every God. Unchangeable God, oh, unchangeable God, unchangeable, unchangeable God, oh, you are an unchangeable God, unchangeable, unchangeable God, hey, he's an unchangeable God. Unchangeable, 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 Oh, 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 oh,
Lord, we thank you and magnify you. Lord, we bless you. Thank you. 
Worship. In Jesus' mighty name, we have worship. Amen. Amen. Sir, are you there, sir? Okay. Um, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah, praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Okay. Happy new month to everyone. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> um, so, um, first and foremost, we uh, we are going to thank God so much um, for the grace He has given to us to to see this new month. It's been God's mercy, you know. and we're already going down and to the end of the year. And uh, if I still look back, I can still see so much of His faithfulness and His mercies. So when you look back, um, don't look at the shortcomings, you know. and um, don't look at all the problems you have faced. But look at the good side of it and look at the message of God. Um, and I can say that the Lord has been faithful. Um, he has been merciful to us. Also. Uh, we have gone through a lot. We have passed through a lot. But I still see the faithfulness and the message of God. I still see a God that, that loves us so much, uh, that loves Rem so much. In spite of all the arrows of darkness, the Lord has been so faithful to keep us, to protect us, to see us all through. Uh, in spite of all the thick darkness some of us have gone through, you are still alive and you are still in the world of the living. It's a very great privilege. If you wake up every day and you did not have cause to have so much of pains and you know, you are not in the hospital and all the rest. You should be glorifying the Lord. I was listening to something today, sorry, yesterday, from um, a witch doctor that just repented. And I got something from there. And, and he said, um, if people wake up every day 
without having some kind of problems around their body, they should give thanks to God because of the arrows of darkness that walk by night and all the rest. And many of us might not be able to tell what God has been doing for us, but I know that God has been doing so much for us. And if the Holy Spirit should open your eyes to show you of all the plots that the enemy had had over your life, my friends, you will just be grateful to God and thank him all the days of your life. He's a good God. So in the midst of the storm, God is good. In the midst of the darkness, Jesus is wonderful. Jesus is powerful. Before we go to God in prayer also, there are some tips you know I want us to understand also. You see, character defines your attitude most times. Character, your attitude to so many things defines your attitude in life, your attitude. So I must begin to look at, do some check and balances for last month and uh, ask myself, where were those places I didn't get things right? And how can I be a better Christian? In my career also, where were those things I didn't get things right? Prayer is very good, but many times also, as we pray, we apply wisdom. Where were those things? What were those things that I didn't do right? You have to search yourself, and I have to search myself, and ask myself that what were those things that I didn't do well as an individual, or we didn't even do well as a ministry, and all the rest. And we have to begin to put those things in practice by the special grace of God. So this is what I mean by our character and our attitude. What was the attitude I had towards serving the Lord in the last month that went past? And what was the attitude I had, you know, towards the things of God or towards my business or towards my career or towards money and some of all these things? And how can I have a better attitude? How can I discipline myself very much better so that I get to the place God wants me to get to? These are some little things also that you must ask yourself and ensure that you are able to give yourself good answers and then you are not able to also allow the Holy Spirit to help you to make amends and all the rest. If I keep doing this, I become better. I become a better Christian. I become a better believer and I become, you know, the man or the woman that God wants me to do. Another thing again is that before we go to God in prayer again, um, I'll use myself as an example. One of the ways and one of the arrows I faced so much, you know, last month was, was not some physical stuff, it's spiritual. These were things that, you know, the enemy tried to launch into my own spirit. And uh, arrows, I, I, won't, I, won't, I won't say what that arrow is, but what I can say is, what were the means that I used to defeat these arrows? And um, how did I later find joy in spite of those arrows that Satan inserted into my spirit? And which I believe that these arrows... Arrow sent by Satan could be anybody, could be in human form and all the rest. Satan sends them and all the rest in different ways. One of the ways is prayer. So when those arrows come into my spirit, then I go to God in prayer. Then I have so much of relief. Then I begin to have so much of joy. Another thing is that there are things we are afraid of in life. There are things many of us are afraid of. Just be sincere to yourself. There are things also I'm afraid of sometimes, you know. And it's very hard for me to reach out to it. Another thing is that don't be afraid to reach out to what you believe is right. Um, there are things you might be afraid of. You don't want to reach out to those things. And if you don't reach out to those things, it will kill you. It will kill you over time or something like that. Don't be afraid to reach out to your goal and what you believe is right. And stand up for it. Don't be afraid. As in, um, 
Try to see how you can overcome it and try to see how you can face it. Face it like a man and face it like a woman and all the rest. And don't think that that thing is bigger than you. It's not bigger than you. Face it. There are things that we always try to run away from. We don't want to face those things. Don't run away from them, you know. Face that by the special grace of God. And you see that you're going to have rejoicing in God's presence. All these little things, you know, that I have said here, if we put them in practice, I think we're going to have a better August. And we're going to have a better month and all the rest. And we're going to do what God really wants us to do and all the rest. I don't want to live a month on the surface of this earth without knowing that there was something special or there was something I did in that month. As in, I don't just want days to just go by because I've realized that a day comes and it doesn't go. As in, a day comes and it goes like that, sorry. When a day comes, you don't get that back day, as in that day back. You can never get back July 31st. I hope you know that. You can never get back July 30. <laughs> I hope you know that. If August 1 comes, have you realized that it cannot, in the hand of time, it cannot run back. It will just keep running front. So, which means every day is so special in the spirit world. That's what personally I get to realize. I get to realize that every day is so special in the spirit world. It's so special in the sense that that day does not come back to me again. So I must maximize. I must make use of it very much well. Also, I must think there is no food for a lazy man. That's the truth also. Don't expect that an angel will just come down from heaven and put food on your table and all the rest. If you were lazy in the last month, then try to get something done, you know, this month. Try to do something with your hands. Try to do something for the Lord. Try to put a lot of things in action. You know, let's not just be so much spiritual and spiritualize everything and all the rest and say, hey, uh, heaven will do this and God will do that and angel will do that and all the rest. You won't go forward. That's the simple secret about it. You won't go forward. And you know, even that same angel will just be looking at you, you know. So you need to ask yourself, what were the things that I didn't do well? What were the things? Maybe you made a lot of quarrels and a lot of fights with a lot of people around you and you didn't show love maybe to some people. You didn't show love to your family and all the rest. Then, then you need to change that step and begin to show love to them. There's something I read in God's work. He says that a godly man is very much um, generous or close to his family members. Uh, I've forgotten that. Um, I just paraphrased the scripture, but I've forgotten that. I, I believe that it was the, poor, um, the Apostle Paul talking about that or so. And so we just need to ask ourselves and, and put these things in practice so that we can become better Christians and the people or whom God wants you to become also. In your different places, in your, in your offices and all the rest, those things that try to defeat you, those depression that came into your spirit and all the rest, it's time for you to say no more, no less. You cannot take my life anymore. You cannot, you run my life, you know, for July. You can't run my life in August. Now I am a better person. Now I know who I am. Now I'm going to trust in the Lord. Now I'm not going to be so much, um, you know, I'm not going to have this kind of spirit that if this thing does not happen, I will die or stuff like that, you know. Be determined in your spirit. Be determined to move forward. Be determined to walk with Jesus. Be determined to be closer to God. Maybe you were not closer to God and, you didn't even do it. You were not even doing anything, maybe in the body of Christ. And there was no commitment that you had in Rapture Ready and Time Movement. You were not attending many of the programs and all the rest. You can change for better and say this month, then I'm going to change that. You are a late coming person. Like some persons just come anytime they want to come and all the rest. And they think that's okay and all the rest. They don't get the full blessings. That's the simple secret. And that's the simple truth and all the rest. Then you can make a better U-turn in this month and say it's not going to be like that for last month. And you can set some targets, some priorities. I did that, you know, even in the beginning of the year, you know, and 
I'm happy that at least I know that I've met up with some targets and all the rest. So you can set some certain targets and standard things that you believe that you want the Lord to do for you and all the rest. And then watch out those things that you have placed and all the rest and believe the Lord. And the Lord is going to do it and all the rest. So this is how you and I can um, live a better month of August. So I don't want um, I don't want this August to pass by you know, without us doing something mighty for the Lord. Um, um, without us doing something mighty for the Lord and all the rest. I don't want it to pass by just like that. So have a desire. Have a desire in your spirit. Not just to come and, you know, you come to realm and, you know, you come and you just pray and you just get away. And, you know, there are some people that have this attitude and all the rest. It's not a good attitude spiritually. Some people have that attitude, you know, someone, okay, I just come here, you know, I'm just going to make prayers, you know, and I'm just going to help myself, you know, and I'm just going to run away, you know, after I've made prayers and all the rest, you know, those things don't um, sound spiritual and all the rest. Can you imagine maybe somebody like Timothy coming to meet the Apostle Paul and all the rest, and he just says, you know, the Apostle Paul, I'm just going to come here so that I'm going to get blessed by the Apostle Paul, that's all. And Timothy just runs away and says, oh, bye-bye, Apostle Paul. Um, I don't need to see you again. Whenever um, Timothy needs um, a prayer for his head, Timothy comes and, okay, bye-bye, Apostle Paul. I don't need you again. Whenever Timothy is having a pain in his leg, he comes and, oh, Apostle Paul prays for him and all the rest. Oh, Timothy, you're going to be healed in the name of Jesus. Okay, Timothy just runs. Bye-bye, Apostle Paul. I don't need you again. He just goes, no, that's not how the Timothy was behaving also. He had some commitment and all the rest. And that's why the Apostle Paul loved him so much and all the rest. He worked with the Apostle Paul. He, he, he had something he was doing in the body of Christ. He was supporting the Apostle Paul very much well. So desire that. Desire that. Desire that in this new month and all the rest. Desire that not just to be a church goer, um, but to be very much active in the body of Christ. Desire that also in your family also. Maybe you were not a better wife last month. Um, you were not cooking well last month. Or you were not doing your duties as a wife last month. Desire this month, I'm going to change and I'm going to be better and all the rest. I'm going to keep short when he's talking. Desire that this month. Try to learn it this month also. Maybe as a husband also. You are not doing the things that you ought to do and all the rest. And you are very much unfaithful in so many aspects. When I mean unfaithfulness, I don't mean even in the area of your body and all the rest. Unfaithful in so many aspects. Unfaithful in the use of money and all the rest. And so desire that you're going to make a U-turn in this new month. If you have this desire, this is what God blesses really. And when he sees the desire in your heart, if you now pray to him, he answers. But when you have not made a decision in your heart to try to do the things that you ought to do, nothing is going to happen. Even if you bring down fire from heaven, nothing is going to happen. Even if you pray and pray and pray, nothing is really going to happen. Let that attitude, let that character, let some of all those things change and, and we can become better Christians. The Lord is going to do it in our life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You know, this month is going to be a month of joy and peace. You know, maybe in the last month there was a lot of depression. There was a lot of storm in your heart. There was a lot of weeping, which I know that last month was something else, you know. But the Lord was faithful to his children and all the rest. The Lord was faithful. The Lord was faithful to us. And I believe that in this month, his faithfulness is going to be forever more upon our spirits in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And you know, maybe in the last month also, there were a lot of things you experienced in your Christian life. A lot of carnality and all the rest. Then you can make a U-turn that this month, you know, I'm not going to be doing all those things. Um, you're going to be serious with the work of God and you're not going to be taking uh, his work like, um, okay, that's no problem. You're not going to be taking his work, you know, like very shabby and all the rest. 
Um, the Lord is going to help us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You know, another thing I realized is that in rapture at the end time movement, there are people that just come here like, um, how am I going to put it, like spectators, and like, um, should I call it superstars, and all the rest, and <laughs> they just come, and <laughs> once they come like that, you know, and you know, the next minute and the next moment, you don't get to see them and all the rest. They just come like, you know, let's just come and look at what's happening, or let's just come and, okay, Maybe Chelsea is going to prophesy this time or something like that. And all those things are not, it's not when I think of all those things or when I hear some of all those things, I, I don't get happy with that, you know, because I believe that this is a body and we all should grow together and we all should come up together. Let's change some of all those attitudes. Let's change some of all those lifestyles. It's not going to help you and I. Let's change some of all those things and do what we ought to do, you know. Uh, some persons, you don't get to see them for a very long time, and they don't take an excuse and all the rest. I think you should be like that. Even if you don't meet, um, you know, um, the um, 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 if you don't meet maybe me or something like that, then you meet any one of the workers that you see or the coordinators and let them know, I I'm going to be taking an excuse, you know. I'm not going to be around for so-so and so-so and so-so. You know, that's how it's supposed to be and all the rest. And, you know, some persons, you know, there are things that we have heard over time. And before, when you hear something happening also, you try to ask. You try to meet somebody and ask, you know, okay, why is this like this and like this? You know, you try, it's not a seed and all the rest, so that you'll be sure of what you are doing. Uh, this little thing is what I just wanted us to know. You know, before we begin to go to God in prayer, let's have this right attitude to serving the Lord. Let's have this right motive to serving the Lord. Let's have this right desire for serving the Lord. Let's have this burning fire together for serving the Lord. These are goals. Before you know it, the year is already running out. So, and what can you say you have done for the Lord so far? How can you say you have served the Lord better, very much well? How can you say you have given your time even to this commission very much well? How can you say you have given your strength to this commission very much well? How can you say you have given so much to this commission very much well? How can you say, you know, if you stand before the presence of God, what are you going to say there? Are you going to say that you were just, you know, just coming and coming and you were not effective in so many ways and you were not even a blessing also to the ministry in so many ways and all the rest. So these things, let's put them right, you know, and you know, the Lord is going to help us. Another thing, again, you must understand is that God himself rewards hard work. Um, um, grace is not saying that I should not work. But grace is saying something like, even in the little work that I do, no matter how little it is, God is going to prosper that little work and all the rest. So don't um, have it at the back of your mind that sitting down, you know, then grace is just going to come down from heaven. It's going to come upon whom and, you know, you're just going to get everything like that. No, 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 no. You are going to do something little. Then God is now going to pour his power and overshadow it. And it's going to turn. I don't know. Does any man and woman, you know, do you, do you just give birth to children like that without meeting and all the rest? It does not happen. It only happened once. I don't know if it, if it has happened again like that, you know. I don't think it's normal, you know. So you have to do something and all the rest. Then the power of the Holy Spirit now comes there, overshadows them and all the rest. That's what happens, you know, even before delivery. It's not forget about all these things. We think scientists say this and that and that. God has a full hand in that work. God has a full hand in the bringing up of that child into the world. God has a full hand. It's very spiritual. God had to create so much of the soul, the spirit, and the body, even inside there. It's a mystery that you and I can hardly understand. But man has to do something little. Then God has to take his own power and overshadow it all. It will be like that in our life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You know, this month, we're going to enjoy God's grace. So, we are going to pray. And then prayers that we are going to make are basically against, you know, the arrows of... ...new months. There are powers that want to afflict you. There are powers that want to cause you depression. I believe that if men had prayed... There are many situations that we wouldn't have come through. Can you imagine what your life would have been without all these prayers that you are making in realm? Can you imagine the arrows and the things that the devil would have brought in your life without, you know, all these things that you are doing here? Can you imagine? Have you ever thought about it? 
have you ever thought of the number of sicknesses and hospital bills you're going to be paying? Or are you special than those people that walk by and, you know, they were just burned by, is this some motor gassy accident and all the rest? No, it's because of God's faithfulness. And whenever we make prayers, there is a special grace that covers the children of God and all the rest. So it's just the grace of God and it's just the mercy of God. And these are things that we want to pray over. Maybe there are some people that their destinies have been tied in the water and all the rest. You know, when I listened to this man this evening, it was just a, with somebody that repented. He said from his womb, for some of you that are very anxious, I want to give birth. I want to give birth. They do anything possible. This man from his womb, he has started working for the devil. From his womb. So sometimes I'm even asking myself, God, how do you judge this person and all the rest? You know, but God is a merciful God because God has to allow this man to repent. You, you can imagine somebody from his womb, you know, because his parents were very agile. They say, I wanted a boy. I wanted a male child. I wanted a male child. And you know what happened? They went to a herbalist. And when they went to a herbalist, and you know, the, the voodoo doctor, you know, told them, don't worry, you're going to have a male child. They had that male child. But from the moment that male child came into that woman's belly, that's not an ordinary child, you know. He's a son of destruction and all the rest. It's like the devil changes the destiny of people, even while in their mother womb. He changes their destiny. Have you seen that? He changes people's destiny. So when you see some certain things happening to some small, small children and all the rest, go and ask their parents, where did you go to to get that child? You, you have gone to the hands of so many pastors that are voodoo doctors. Did you go there to get that child and drink one or two things? You are killing yourself because you are going to give birth to a child that is going to cause greater destruction. And this is the problems many people are facing. And you know what? There is nothing this man did not do. Many destinies, he said he has tied a lot of destinies in a particular area. He ties them, thousands and thousands of them and all the rest. He ties them and all the rest. He talked about, you know, a lot of adultery and fornication people do and how they are being initiated into the spirit world. See, it is God that is keeping a man. If the Lord begins to open your eyes to see a lot of wickedness that happen in this world, then, my brother, you will know that you are not saved without Jesus. <laughs> if you don't have Jesus, you can never be saved. If you don't have Jesus, you can never be free from all these things. If you don't have Jesus... I mean, if you don't have, I don't mean all these ones that people are just playing with their Christian life anyhow and anyhow, anywhere the breeze blow, they blow. Anywhere it goes, they goes, you know. I don't mean that kind of thing, or if they see that, you know, Chelsea is not here, they are not going to be here. Is, is that, is that, when I see all those things, I'm, I'm asking myself, God, why is all these things like this, you know? Okay, if they see that I don't come up here and something like that, then they don't come and all the rest. No, are you, are you doing that for me? Are you doing that because of me or something like that? Then it shows whom you are really serving. If you are doing that because of me, then you are wasting your time, you know, because I can have nothing to give unto you except what the Father puts into my own spirit and all the rest. So these are things that we must change, the right attitude to serving the Lord. Let all those mentality change. Let's change from all those mentality and all the rest. Let's change, you know. You don't receive. When you come into the body of Christ, you can ask, you can meet me, you can meet somebody or something like that. And you can say, oh, what do I need to do for the Lord, you know? You can write to me and all the rest. And I'm going to tell you what I believe you need to do. Oh, oh, Chinozi, what are the things that are lacking behind there? Which department am I going to join in here? How am I going to help the body of Christ to grow? Together as a family, let's do this. And I believe that His grace is going to be upon our life. Let me tell you one certain thing. When you are very much close, when you are very much close to God's mouthpiece or God's children or God's servants, there's also a fire of covering that also comes upon your life also. Just like also for most of you that are close to your children, because of you, the devil cannot touch your children. Because of the relationship that both of you have, and that's the kind of relationship we need to have here. The Lord is going to intervene in our life. The Lord is going to help us. This month of August, it will not swallow us. It will not swallow us. It will not swallow us. It will not swallow you and I. It will not swallow us. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, this month of August, this month of August, we will break forth. 
we will break through. We will break forth. We will break through. In the mm. mighty name of Jesus Christ, this month mm. of August, his mercies, his goodness shall be upon our lives. In the name of Jesus Christ, this mm. month of August, Every padlock that they are using to hold your destiny. Every padlock that they are using to hold your glory. Let the Lord begin to fight for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, this month of August, the grace and the mercy of God shall come upon our lives. In the name of Jesus Christ, this month of August, we are reaching to the top. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ, this month of August, that ladder we are climbing there. We are getting to the top. We are getting to the top. Every spirit of depression, we would overcome you in the name of Jesus. Every spirit of weariness, we're going to overcome you in the name of Jesus. Every spirit spirit of poverty, we're going to overcome you in the name of Jesus. Every spirit and power of affliction, we're going to overcome you in the name of Jesus. Every arrow from the pit of hell, we're going to overcome you in the name of Jesus. Every snake from the water kingdom, we're going to overcome you in the name of Jesus. Every power of darkness, we're going to overcome you in the name of Jesus. Every arrow that has been wavering in our household, we're going to overcome you in the name of Jesus. Every arrow in our marriage and family, we're going to overcome you in the name of Jesus. We are reaching for the top. It's our month of joy and peace. It's our month of joy and peace. It's our month of joy and peace. In the name of Jesus, this month of all God, there will be no reproach. There will be abundance. There will be prosperity uh, even in the house of God. Uh, there will be prosperity uh, even in the life of the children of God. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, this month for God, we are serving God in truth and in spirit. Uh, we are serving God in truth and in spirit. Uh, we are serving God with all our strength. Uh, we are serving God with all our wealth. Uh, we are serving God with all our substances. Uh, we are serving God with all our desire. We are serving God with all that is inside of us. Uh, we are serving God all heartedly. In the name of Jesus Christ, this month of August, every tear the devil has decreed for our lives, sir. I command the fire of God to turn it into joy and happiness. In the Amen. name of Jesus Christ, every Amen. spirit of disappointment, they are waiting to disappoint you. In your office, sir, the devil has sent the enemy to disappoint you. In your business, the devil says you'll be disappointed. Listen to me, that is the word of the devil, and that is not the word of your father. But the Bible oh. said that uh, the goodness and the mercy of God shall go with you all the days of your life. In the name of Jesus, uh, which version did you believe? Do you believe in what the enemy says or do you believe in what the word of God says? Uh, let the word of God be established in your life. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, this word of God, uh, every power using you for promotion, every power using you for their promotion, every power using you for their star, every power using you for their glory. Every power using you to be rising up. Every power using you as an instrument for them to rise up. Right now the fire of God set their camp on fire. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let the camp of the wicked one over your life come back. Let the fire of God come down upon the camps of the wicked one. Upon your life. In the name of Jesus. Every spirit manipulating your life. Every spirit manipulating your destiny. Let the fire of God take over. Let the fire of God take over. Let the fire of God take over. In the name of Jesus Christ. There are a lot of terrors. The Bible says that many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivered them all. The Lord delivered his children. 
Amen. Those that put their trust in him. Amen. Show me a man that says that God is unfaithful. Mm. I will show you another man that is not serious with serving the Lord. True. So if a man is really serious with serving the Lord, you must have a testimony. Amen. Some of you that have some testimonies and all the rest, was it not that you waited on the Lord and the Lord now vindicated you? Even though it took some time, but he, he vindicated you. That's the end of the story. Mm -hmm. I've not seen somebody that just show me, show me anybody who is that person that served the Lord. And uh, somehow mm -hmm. the Lord played him, or the Lord cajoled him, or the Lord disappointed him. Just show me, just show me who is that person that served the Lord. In your marriages, hasn't the Lord been faithful to mm -hmm. you? Maybe there were some storms before now, but all of a sudden his faithfulness now <laughs> came upon your life. Hasn't the Lord been good to you and all the rest? Yes, yes we know. Yes, I know. You were not making plenty money. You did not make plenty money last month. No problem. But was there a day that you were not able to feed? Was there a day that you were not able to feed yourself? Was there a day that you were not able to feed your? Was there a day that you went out to be borrowing money or to be begging and all the rest? Can't you see that the Lord is faithful? Are there not people that are doing like that? Then are you better than them and all the rest? No, sometimes when you think that you have not gotten what you need, think of the things that the Lord has done for you. You know, that's what I always do. When I think that, oh, maybe the ones that I've been praying for, it looks as if God has not answered this. So you know what I tell myself? Say, God knows all those things. God knows all those things that you want to ask. Then something tells me that, why don't you praise God and thank God? He knows that you need this. He knows that you need that. He knows that you need these things and all the rest. God sees my thoughts. He sees my motive. He sees inside of me. Is there anything to not be bothered about? Is there anything that God does not know that you are going through right now? Tell me. Is there one thing that he does not know and all the rest? But he's fighting a battle for you in ways that you cannot see. Or would the Lord, you want God to take a trumpet and begin to blow and say, oh, my sister, yesterday I was fighting that battle for you. Day before yesterday I fought for you. The devil came and I was fighting for you. Have you seen? If God does that, you know, I'm going to say this, this is childish, you know, it's a childish attitude. But God is so big and he's so powerful. He doesn't do all those things, you know. He doesn't need your approval and he doesn't want you to begin to think of him and say, oh, now you're a big God. Oh, thank you, you're doing this for me and all the rest. He doesn't need you. He doesn't need all those things that you think and all the rest. He doeth what pleases him. And whatever he doeth is right. Whatever I do it is good. Also, sometimes that you have been asking, ah, Lord, why me? Why me? Why the only me? Okay, look at the people that are below you. Are you not better than some people? So, when you are looking at some certain things, and you are asking yourself big questions, why, 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 why? Think of those people that you are better than. Think of those things that the Lord has done for you. Think of the promises and the prayers that you made to the Lord and he answered your prayer. When I, when I look at that, I just think of the answers he has given to me before now. That same God that did it before, he can still do it again. He does not change. That same God that helped you from last year, from last two years, he cannot change. He does not change. He will not change because of times and season. The Lord will visit you in this month. The Lord will visit you in this month. The Lord will visit you in this month. You will receive divine visitation. The Lord will visit you in this month. He will visit you in this month. He will visit you in this month. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every power that wants you to sorrow. Every power that wants you to weep. The Lord will wipe it up. The Lord will wipe it up for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Think of his goodness. Yes. Think of his mercies. And thank him for what he has done before. Many times why we don't receive from the Lord is that we come to the Lord with an ungrateful mm -hmm. heart. We are not grateful. Mm -hmm. We are not grateful. Mm -hmm. Think about it. Think about your earthly father. Mm -hmm. Your earthly father bought you toy maybe last two years. Mm -hmm. And he bought you another toy, like, toy last mm -hmm. year. And maybe he bought you a bicycle, you know. Mm -hmm. Maybe he bought you a car. And you know, this year, maybe because it seems that he has not given you those things. You didn't even thank him for the ones he did before now. 
and you are asking, you know, what's your father going to say? Your heavenly father is going to say, this boy and this lady, she's ungraceful and he's ungraceful. You don't expect him to do much more and all the rest. But give him thanks. Even for the little that you think that he has done. When you give him thanks and praises, he will do much more. Many of us are guilty of all these things. We don't tend to thank God for the things that he has done before now. You are just asking, 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 asking. You are just disturbing heaven with too much of asking. How many times have you taken to thank the Lord, to praise the Lord, and to say thank you, Jesus, to worship and adore Jesus, to magnify Jesus, to exalt Jesus, to lift Jesus higher? In the midst of your worship, he begins to do something mighty. In the midst of your worship, he opens that door that you are thinking of. You will know you might not even pray for the door. Maybe the door is that you need money. He opens the door. Or maybe the door is that you need a spiritual gift. He opens the door. Or maybe the door is that you want to be baptized in the Holy Ghost. He opens the door. The Lord is going to do his work in your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Right now, you are going to pray and repeat after me. Every power. Every power. Every power. Every power. Waiting to steal my blessings. Waiting to steal my blessings. In the month of our God. In the month of our God. What are you waiting for? Are you waiting for? Scatter my fire right now. there are calendars that are evil there are what i call demonic calendar calendars that in the kingdom of darkness they have been designated to cause you bad days they have been designated to cause you bad weeks it's a demonic evil calendar that has been designated to bring a version 
of the world of the enemy upon your life. Right now, we want to pray. Every evil calendar, every demonic calendar standing against my life, uh, let it be thundered by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, uh, child of God, we need to pray. Calendar is also made of 21 days. Calendar is also made of 21 days. Calendar is also made of 25 days. Calendar is also made of 35 days. Speed of God is a speed of God is a prediction. Speed of God is a prediction. The fire of God is in the move. This <laughs> I destroyed with fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Any wicked calendar, any traditional calendar, any wicked calendar, any wicked calendar, the warlock is against my life, against my destiny, be destroyed. In Jesus' name, we pray. That sometimes that you are sleeping and you are on your bed and you are sleeping, you don't even know what is happening. Because at that moment, your spirit is calm. So many things happen in the spirit world. Listen to me. Not every mosquito that touches your body is an ordinary mosquito. Not every kind of little animal or little fly that touches you is just like that. You know, um, there is one thing that the kingdom of darkness does better. Most of the objects or most of the animals or most of the insects or most of you know all these things that are prevailing in your environment is what he uses as agents so if it's a war gecko that is prevalent around that area is what he uses as a means to come into that life or to come into that family and all the rest and you could be sleeping and they just appear because they know that if they appear in the means of butterflies you're not going to recognize them you are going to think it's just one of those things that come around and all the rest. You're not going to know. Many of those things are agents of darkness in disguise. And they now come to pour a spiritual poison. And they now come to harm you physically. And all the rest. That's the arrow of the enemy. That's how it comes, you know. I think as I, as I was watching that today, you know, there was something that the man said, you know. And I noticed that, that that's one thing about the kingdom of darkness. He said uh, one of the things they use there, okay, one of the things he uses, he changes into a cockroach, you know? So when he changes into a cockroach and he touches the body of anybody and all the rest, <laughs> he says once he touches you like that, you're not going to give birth. See, many barrenness that we have here on earth. He said uh, there are many marriages that one of the um, arrows of the devil is to break marriages, is to break home. Many of all these things are very spiritual. Don't just think it's normal. All of a sudden, a fight. All of a sudden, a quarrel. All of a sudden, a fight. All of a sudden, pushing. All of a sudden, beating. And all the rest. And before you know it, all of a sudden, the blood. 
All these things are arrows of darkness. That's the, the, the we are in the last battle. The devil wants to cause problem. He wants to pull down the enemy. He's doing everything possible. Anything possible. That's why, you know, I believe that the devil can never like a child of God. He's doing everything possible because he knows that this person, you are working against his plan. He's doing everything possible to destroy humanity. He's doing everything possible to destroy humanity. You might be very much surprised, but in these last days, the level of occultic power on this earth is too much. There are a lot of groups, and they are not even ashamed nowadays. They are everywhere, even in your cities, even in your countries, and all the rest. That's another agenda of the enemy. As you are opening, you know, one thing I got from um, that man or that um, uh, former witch doctor, he said, you know, as you know, there are some churches that open. He says the same way. Let me give this example. He says the same way, you know, the RCCG opens church everywhere. That's the same way the kingdom of darkness, they open their little witch doctor houses everywhere. They are everywhere. So, you know, there are witch houses that are speaking against your life and your family in that environment. There are powers that are speaking. They know who you are. They know you are a Christian. They know you are a real brethren. They know that you are there. They know that you are a sister. They know that you are a brother in the Lord. And because of you, they are not having rest. Uh, every occultic kingdom, every occultic house in your place, uh, because of you, I say they will not have rest. Uh, because of you, I say they will not have peace. Uh, Amen. They will not have joy. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, whenever you begin to open your mouth to pray, let those kingdoms be silenced. Uh, let those occultic houses be silenced. Uh, let those occultic houses be silent. Uh, because you are a child of God. Uh, in the name of Jesus Christ, uh, let those occultic houses be silenced. Uh, every evil proclamation, uh, every evil causes, uh, against your life uh, right now uh, let him be scattered by fire uh, in the name of the Lord Jesus uh, in the name of Jesus uh, in the name of Jesus uh, power said to frustrate your effort uh, power straight to frustrate your effort uh, in this month of August uh, you are climbing up uh, in this month of August uh, you are getting your promotions uh, in this month of August uh, you are serving Jesus with all your heart uh, in this month of August uh, you are serving the Lord in truth and in spirit. In this month of August, I say this month is going to be your month of laughter. It's going to be your month of laughter. It's going to be your month of laughter. It's going to be your month of laughter. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Those powers waiting to steal your joy. Those powers waiting to steal your joy. They know whenever they see that how ah, you are happy. Then the devil, the devil does not want you to be happy. I hope you know. Yes. He does not want you to be joyful. Even those that are serving him, he does not give them peace. What's more of you that you are not even serving him and all the rest? He does not want you to have good days. He does not want you to be happy. All he wants for you is to be sad. All he wants for you is to be depressed. That's what he wants. He's the father of wickedness. He's the father of all liars. That's what he wants for you. He doesn't want you to rejoice and all the rest. Nothing will be able to steal your joy. Amen. Be able to steal Amen. your joy. Amen. Be able to steal my joy. Amen. Nothing will be able to steal our joy. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. every strong man, every strong woman, waiting to steal your joy. Let the power of the Lord come upon them right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Every woman waiting to take your joy. Waiting to absorb your joy. Waiting to steal your joy. Waiting to eat your joy. Let the Lord begin to fight for you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The Lord is looking for men that will trust in him. The Lord is looking for men that will trust in him. In this few months, are you going to trust in the Lord? Are you going to believe in the report of what the doctors have said upon your life? Are you going to believe what your body tells you? You know, your body language can tell you some certain things and all the rest. It might not be what God is telling you. Your body language can tell you that this thing is impossible. That there is no miracle that can happen here. It might not be what the Lord is telling you and all the rest. Listen to me. This is what I tell people. It does not take God one day to change your story. 
Amen. It does not take God Amen. one day to change Amen. your situation. Amen. One day is even too much. It does not take God 12 hours. But it does not take God one hour, two hours to change your story. Just in one day, God can change everything. Just in one day, God can change everything. After all the affliction, it's just one day. All he just needs to do is just to put everything right. And before you know it, your life begins to move like normal. Amen. It begins to run like the way it has been programmed to run. It does not take God one day. So what do you think is now stopping the Lord? Is it that the Lord does not want to do that thing for you and all the rest? It's not that he does not want to do it. But you know, there is one thing about the Lord. Though we cannot understand his ways, his ways are past finding. But he desires to bless his children. He desires to bless his children. Though he has to pass us through some certain stress. He has to pass us through some certain cross and all the rest. So that we can become stronger Christians. Maybe sometimes, if he blesses you with that thing you are asking for, you think that you might have the power to withhold it and withstand it. I said, do you think that if God blesses you now with that thing that you are asking for, are you sure you will not backslide? Are you sure you will still be serving God? Are you sure your steps will not change? Are you sure you know you will not become, you know, there are some people, you know, when the Lord now prospers them, ah, they are big men. <laughs> They are big women. They don't know God again. Uh, you know, you ask them, are you not coming to activities? Oh, Chedoze, my job. My job is not going to allow me, Chedoze. Uh, and I say, wow, your job is not going to allow you. I'm asking myself, God, <laughs> is this your perfect will? <laughs> or is this a permissive will and all the rest? God will not give you something that will distract you from serving him. Sometimes he will say, God is testing us. He wants to really know if you love that job. Or you love him more than that. So if you see that that thing is stressing you and all you, and you cannot fulfill God's plan and God's purpose for your life, then you leave the place. It's as simple as that, and all the rest. But you know, this is one reason why I believe God has not blessed a lot of people. God is not sure if they have the capability of holding that blessing. To some people, the blessing is going to take them away. So, you know, sometimes, so God has to expect you to come to the level of maturity. You know, think about it. If you give your five-year-old or your ten-year-old son a car to ride, is he going to ride it well? I know you want to give him that car to ride. Don't you think so? I know you want to give maybe your five-year-old a bicycle to ride or something like that, or a bike or a cycle. I don't know whatsoever your means can reach. I know you want to give them something and say, take this, my son, and ride this and enjoy yourself. Every mother, every father wants their children to enjoy. I, I, I believe so, right? But there are some certain things that restrict you from giving him that thing. You have this belief that if I give this boy this car to ride, he's going to have an accident. Is that what you want? For your son to have an accident. So because you don't want your son to have an accident, is it not better you now train that your son so that when he's of age, you now give him that car and he's able to ride it well. This is the same way God is treating his children. This is the same way God treats some of his servants. So whenever you are prayed and it seems as if you have not had that thing, tell the Lord that you want to grow. You want to be matured in the things of him then you will not be able to withhold those things. See, some people don't know how to hold prosperity. That's the simple truth. If God sees that you are not strong enough to hold prosperity, he's not going to give you that and all the rest. God gives to you the abilities. As in, he gives to you like your capability. Sometimes when I feel that God has not given me some certain things, I have this belief that it's either a power of maybe one power from the pit of hell is trying to stop this blessing, or it's either it is not time yet. Maybe the father has seen that this is not going to help Chedozie to serve him better and all the rest. So he does some certain things. Allow the will and the plan of God to prevail upon your life. And he's going to do it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every power withholding your blessing. Let the Lord begin to have his way upon your life. Let there be a release in the spirit world. Let there be a release right now. Every kingdom holding your blessing. Uh, let there be a release in this month of August. Uh, let there be a release uh, in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, every power holding your children. Uh, I say let there be a release. Uh, I say let there be a release. Uh, every power holding your husband. Uh, I say let there be a release. Uh, every power holding your employment. Uh, I 
I say let there be a release. Uh. I say let there be a release. Uh. In the name of Jesus Christ, uh. every power holding your family. I say let there be a release. Uh. In the name of Jesus Christ, uh. every power holding your documents. Uh. I say let there be a release. Uh. In the name of Jesus Christ, uh. every power holding your finances. Uh. I say let there be a release. Uh. In the name of Jesus Christ, uh. every power holding your garments. Uh. I say let there be a release. Uh. In the name of Jesus Christ. Uh. Every power holding your Christian life, uh, I say, let there be a release uh, in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, every force and calabash uh, holding your destiny and your glory, holding your light and your star, I say, let there be a release uh, in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, every kingdom of darkness, uh, every marine agent uh, holding your life, uh, holding your destiny uh, because of one or two casual sex, uh, I say, let there be a release right now. You are no more their candidate. Uh, every Power holding your semen in the spirit world. Uh, I say, let there be a release uh, in the spirit world uh, in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, every power holding some certain things that belong to you, holding your blood cells, uh, holding your blood, uh, holding your blood, uh, stealing your blood. Uh, I say, let there be a release uh, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Uh, every power holding your organs, uh, any part of your organ, uh, your sexual organ, uh, any part of your organ uh, in your body, uh, you see this for spiritual sacrifice. Uh, I say let there be a release uh, in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, the Bible said uh, the name of the Lord Jesus is a strong tower, and the righteous speak on Twitter, uh, and the Bible said they are saved, uh, and the Bible said uh, at the mention of the name of Jesus, uh, every new bows, uh, every tongue confesses that Jesus is Lord, uh, every powerhouse uh, holding your destiny, uh, I see that there be a release uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, I see that there be a release. Uh, every power uh, holding down the glory of Rema, uh, holding down the prosperity of Rema, uh, holding down the power of Rema, uh, holding down the white bread of Rema. Uh, I see that there be a release uh, in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, every evil force of darkness, uh, every desire in the realm of the spirit, uh, standing against your life and destiny. I see that there be a release. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, every strong woman uh, holding you down right now. Uh, I say that there be a release. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, every strong man from your father's house, uh, that's your wicked uncle uh, standing against your life. Uh, I say that there be a release. Uh, I say that there be a release. Uh, every occulting kingdom uh, using you for promotion. Uh, I say that there be a release. Uh, let's go. In the name of Jesus, Amen. Amen. wherever they are gathered over your life. Uh, Every power feeding you, feeding you with flesh and blood, every power feeding you, feeding you with human meat, every power feeding you, feeding you with blood in the spirit water, every unconscious witchcraft, and you don't know they are using you as a witchcraft former, and you don't know they are using you as a walking object in the spirit water. I say, let there be a release. Let fire and fire go before you. Let it turn out of God descend on that kingdom, that kingdom of darkness. Uh. You thought the children of God, uh. you touch any remember, yeah? Let fire scatter your kingdom. Uh. You touch any remember, yeah? Let fire scatter your kingdom. Uh. You touch any one of the sons of my boy, let fire scatter your kingdom. Let fire scatter your kingdom. Uh. You touch the children of God, let fire scatter your kingdom. Uh. You touch our possession, let fire scatter your kingdom. Uh. You touch our belongings, let fire scatter your kingdom. Uh. You touch our Christian life, let fire scatter your kingdom. Uh. You talk about Christian life, let fire scatter your kingdom. You talk about Christian life, let fire scatter your kingdom. Every spirit of weakness uh, injected in my body, uh, let fire scatter their kingdom. Uh, let fire scatter their kingdom. Uh, every spiritual blanket uh, used to cover your glory, uh, let fire scatter their kingdom. Uh, right now, uh, let fire scatter their kingdom. Uh, let fire fall on their kingdom. Let fire fall on their kingdom. Uh, every evil tree, wherever they are gathering at night, uh, be the first of August, uh, every meeting from the kingdom of darkness, uh, I say let that meeting be scattered by fire. I say let that meeting be scattered by fire. Meeting over rapture again. 
against thy movement. I see me scattered by fire, beating over the children of God. I see me scattered by fire, beating over the workers of this commission. I see me scattered by fire, beating over our country fellowships. I see me scattered by fire, wherever you gather, as long as you call my name, as long as you call the name of the children of God, as long as you call the name of the children of God, let my scatter their kingdom. I am my children. We are for signs and wonders. Let my scatter their kingdom. 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 Let me look in their kingdom. Right now, let the fire fall. Let the fire fall. Let the fire fall. You hold my possession. You hold my belonging. Oh, yeah, receive fire right now. Oh, yeah, receive fire right now. You hold the things that belong to Jesus. You hold the things. Call your name there. Call your name there. Call your name there. You hold the things that belong to Jesus. Call your name there. Let fire scatter their kingdom. Let fire scatter their kingdom. Let fire scatter their kingdom. Why would they be holding your belonging? Is it their own? Is it their own? Why would they hold your belonging? Is it their own? Is it not the owner? Why must they hold it? 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 This is not of all God now. Who enjoy grace? Let this prayer carry you through. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in your month of celebration, all that are celebrating you will celebrate. All that are rejoicing you will rejoice. All that are happy you will be happy. you know, some of you sisters, some of those blood that you are releasing, or some of those blood that flows out of your body, some of them don't just be thinking that it's just the natural thing that happens and all the rest. Some of these things have spiritual implication. They are blood sucking demons, just waiting by the side to take that blood and put it into their bank. They don't just want it to waste. Now, this one thing about the kingdom of darkness. They don't always want blood to waste. Any slight blood they get to see. That's why in the moment you see that you're experiencing things like that, cover it with the blood of Jesus. So that the blood of Jesus mixes with your own blood. Once the blood of Jesus mixes with your own blood, they cannot touch the blood anymore. It's not good for the kingdom of darkness. It's not good for the bank of their blood. It's going to cause a lot of spiritual havoc and earthquake. So they take all those blocks and all the rest and they begin to use it for different stuff. And they begin to drink it and they begin to do things with it and all the rest. So that's why you must be very prayerful. Pray over everything. Pray over everything. Because of the wickedness. The wickedness. The wickedness on the earth. The wickedness, the wickedness, the Lord will show you mercy. Amen. The Lord will show you mercy. Amen. The Lord will Amen. Show you... Amen. 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 The devil does not have rest. I yeah. hope you know. You know, think about this, which means that for over 2,000 years, the devil has not rested. Can you imagine? <laughs> Is there anything that you think he does not know? Tell me. 
Is there any skill you think he does not know? Even this prayer I'm making right now, he has seen brothers on the earth for trillions and millions of years that have prayed like this before. <laughs> what other skill do you want to use against him? But the good thing is when you have Jesus. When you have Jesus, he covers yeah. you. He covers you. He covers you. He covers you. Yeah, thank you, Jesus. Amen. He's able. Abundantly able. To deliver. from last month. You want to know? You want to know one of the things that has affected so many persons here? Yeah. Do you want to really know? Yes, sir. Many of you in here, you want to know the sincere truth? Many of you don't pray. That's true. Many of you don't pray. If you want me spiritually, I can just be pointing hands. I want to point my hand at you, I know. I know those that pray, and I know those that are not praying. <laughs> it's only when you come to this structure at the end time movement, and maybe you come to the vigil, that's when you pray. Many of you, in your own private closet, you don't pray. And if you don't pray, there's no way you can secure all, all, all those blessings. Apart from the general fellowship that we have here, desire to build an altar. Desire to build an altar. Do you notice something about Jacob? 
Wherever Jacob went to, he built an altar. It's an altar of prayer. Desire to build an altar. Wherever the apostle Paul went to, he built an altar. That's why he was even in the prison and he was preaching and he was praying. Paul and Silas, they prayed, they prayed, they prayed. Everywhere he went, he built an altar. That has been the secret of every child of God. Wherever Elijah went to, he built an altar of prayer. That's why he was able to even pray there and destroy the powers of Baal. Some of you, are, many of you are not praying at all. Just the day activity. Walk, 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 walk. Come back, sleep, eat. Okay, it's time for actual Indian time movement fellowship, right? Okay, I think, um, oh, I don't know, Chinos is not going to be here. So let me wait, you know. Okay, bro, Godwin is going to be here. Okay, um, I'm just going to come up and all the rest. All this um, stuff and all the rest. It's not going to help you in August. The days are getting evil. The days are getting terrible. <laughs> See, the days are getting evil that there are people that will not survive this. Let me tell you. There is a shaking in the spirit world. You can never ever survive it without prayer. Mark me. There is a shaking. You know this shaking that let me surprise you. When I heard this witchcraft doctor speaking, he said in the kingdom of darkness, I don't know at his own point in time before he made his confession. He said there are only few pastors on earth in Nigeria that they consider to be men of God. Or they consider that they know who is who. <laughs> and I know that already. That's why I don't want to deceive myself. Once they look at you in the spirit world, they know if you are a child of God. They know if you have fire. You cannot deceive Satan. That's the good thing about spirit world people. When you die, and you appear before the throne of grace. You can never, ever, you will never deceive one angel. You can never tell one angel that I am spiritual when you are not spiritual. You are distorted, you are killing yourself. They know you. <laughs> In the kingdom of darkness, they know if you have fire and they know if you are weak. They know, they know all these things. That's why it's not by they know that many are just wasting their time. It's not by coming to church, it's not by coming to rent fellowship. They know inside and all the rest. Yeah. Anytime I go to the Lord in prayer, you see why personal prayer is good. He tells me some certain things, he shows me the evil in my own self. He tells, he tells me, and I'll just see the Lord rebooking me, and I'll be asking myself, is it that I cannot come before the presence of God? And it does not tell me one thing or the other. Must he always speak to me like this? You know, when you go into his presence and you'll be expecting something good, he just tells you that Chinos here, you didn't do this thing here and all the rest. He just tells you, Chinos here, you didn't humble yourself here. And I know it is right. I know it is correct. I know it is perfect. One good thing about it is that whenever he speaks to me, I'm ready to say, yes, Lord. That day, that day, I will make things right. That day, that day, I will put things the way I'm supposed to. If I need to make calls, if I need to do anything, if I need to send this and that, I will make sure that I put things right. That has been the way I've worked with the Lord so much. If I see anything, it tells me, Jesus, yes, Jesus, yes. not that I don't see, not that I don't do things, and you know, maybe there are things that it's not like my life is so perfect and all the rest. But when you come to his presence, he will open you. You will, you will be naked. <laughs> you talk to a naked person. And he sees you. He uses a spiritual antenna. He searches you. That's why the psalmist. You know why David always says, search me, O Lord. Think about it. David was in the presence of God. It's only in the presence of God you can hear, search me, O Lord. How can he be searching you when you are not in his presence? He can't search you when you are in a mall or stuff like that and all the rest. Except you are deep in the spirit. But prayer helps you now to be in that spirit. That's why some of us... See, let me give you another secret in this month. It's not hard for God to prosper you. It's not hard for God to bless you. It's to maintain it. Some people don't have the power to maintain some certain things and all the rest. I've given us this example always. Somebody that goes to a witch doctor or voodoo and all the rest for some certain things. What do they do? They try to maintain that thing. 
By making a constant sacrifice and all the rest. The minute they stop, something happens. You must learn how to maintain the thing. It's not about the anointing. It's to maintain the anointing. Many are anointed, but they don't know how to maintain it. And they lose it. And they get corrupted very easily. And before you know it, they lose the fire. Maybe, is it like that in your life? But there are things prayer we do for you. There are things prayer we do for you. It will help you so much. It's a plus. Prayer can never be regarded as a minus. Are you hearing me? Anytime you come to any prayer gathering, as long as the Spirit of God is there, it is never a minus. I'm not saying that everybody should pray. I don't believe that everybody can pray like this person or pray like me or pray like this and all the rest. But ensure that as little as the time is, take some time to sit down. You know, where you can make some little bit of meditation and all the rest. Where you can have some quiet time in that spirit and all the rest so that the Holy Spirit can speak. You will need that, you know. This is one oxygen that is going to serve you great in this month of August and all the rest. Prayer is a plus. Prayer is a plus. It's, it's not a minus. We are here right now. We are having this vigil. Don't you know some people are in some other places? Don't you know some people are in some other places and enjoying and saying, wow, thank God and all the rest. And you think that God approves them like that. No, he approves those that come before his presence. The Lord will vindicate you. The Lord will vindicate you. Amen. The Lord will vindicate you. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So he knows it all. He knows it all. There's a song I used to play. And it, the song is, is in the Igbo language, you know. And that song tells me that there is nothing God does not know. He knows it all. He knows everything. He knows everything. He's the all-knowing God. He's the El Shaddai. He knows why he has allowed you to be in that marriage. He knows why he has allowed that pain to continue. He knows. He knows it all. Don't think that God does not know. He knows. He knows. And he's not saying that he's going to leave you in that peace. He's going to bring you out. He knows. Yeah. But he's training you for better days. He's training you for better years. He's training you for better times. He knows. He knows. It's not easy. It's not easy. It's not easy. It's not easy. When you want to be de desired to be trained by God, as in, if you want the Lord to train you, it, it's not really easy. But in the end, it's worth it. So he knows. So in this month of August, be determined. Be determined. If you are giving the Lord few times, or if you have few times before in his presence, increase it. Step forward. Climb. Climb. Ensure that there is a tremendous growth from last month to this month. Ensure that you are rising up, you know. Ensure that something is added, not a depreciation and all the rest. Ensure that you are putting things right. The funny thing about it is that some persons are still in this rapture at their time of men fellowship and they are living their life anyhow they want to live it. But such kind of people, you know, your blood is not even in my hands. He has no business to do with me <laughs> because I've done all that I'm supposed to do, you know. And I still keep doing the little that I'm supposed to do. And I've been able to give us the whole counsel of the Lord. But if you are here and you are just living life, anyhow you want to live life, and you are just still following the word and doing all the things that are said that you should not do, and the Bible has said you should not do, then you are on your own. These kind of people, they need deliverance and all the rest. They need serious big deliverance and all the rest. I wonder why somebody will come to a place like this and... You live life anyhow. You do all those things. Many things. If you want me to start mentioning some certain things here and all the rest. So many things and all the rest. There are still people that are in here. That are living some kind of wayward life and all the rest. And they come and they say, God bless me. God bless me. God favor me. God favor me. God favor me. God bless me. God bless me. And you have not blessed him. You have not allowed the Lord to do his work in your life. And you're asking for God bless me. God bless me. God bless me. God favor me. God favor me. No affliction. No affliction. But you are the one causing affliction to yourself. 
and all the rest. It does not work like that. It does not work like that. The Lord is going to help us and give us the grace to walk in total purity and holiness in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The arrows that want to take you from the presence of God are the Lord will shield you with his wall of fire. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, uh, every sentiment in your garment and in my garment, uh, let the blood of Jesus Christ wash it for us. Let the blood of Jesus Christ wash you cleaner. Let the blood of Jesus wash me cleaner. Let the blood of Jesus purify us. Uh, let the blood of Jesus wash us cleaner. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Let the blood begin to wash you. And let the blood begin to wash us. In this new month, desire to follow the Lord. Desire to follow the Lord. Desire to be committed even to the place where God has brought you. Desire. Many of us are privileged, but you might not understand. When I say many of us are privileged, Sometimes I ask myself, God, what have we done or what have I done that you so much bestow on us your goodness and mercy? Listen to me. Any country you see that has a bad president, it's like almost like a cost to that country. And any country or generation with a true child of God or with a true man of God or servant of God is a blessing to that generation and to that country at large. And God has been so much faithful to us. He's giving us wonderful brothers and sisters that really love the Lord and all the rest. And I believe that the spirit of God is in realm. That's one thing the devil cannot say about realm. The devil cannot say the spirit of God is not here. There's one thing the devil can never say in the kingdom of darkness. He can never say the word of God is not in realm. And he can never say the fire of God is not in realm. The devil cannot say that of these three things. Never. Never. He can't say that of these three things. Well, the devil can say maybe we don't have wholehearted believers in realm. That's possible. I might agree with him, you know. And the devil can say, you know, we have hypocrites, you know, and some agents that I have sent in one way or the other has been disguised. I think possibly that's true, you know. But these ones that I've mentioned, the devil cannot say that. And when you have these things, then I can say it's a privilege. Because there are only a little and a few places where you can see the fire, where you can see the spirit, and where you can see the word. The blessings of the Lord will never stop radiating upon our life in this new month. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The blessings of the Lord will never stop radiating upon our life. It will never stop radiating upon our life. It will never stop radiating upon your life. It will never stop radiating upon your life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit. Be my comfort, Holy Spirit. Take control, take control as I'm walking along the way. The road is so narrow. Oh, is Lead us so, lead us so. Oh, is Please. 
cannot make it without Jesus. You can't make it without following Jesus. and You can't make it without looking at Jesus. And you cannot make it without patterning your life like him also. Spiritually, the devil is doing so much to harm the Christian. But you know, our battle is of the Lord. The Lord is going to always be there to protect us. No matter how strong the battle might get to be, no matter how fierce it might be, no matter all those troubles that you are going through, I encourage you, my brother, and I encourage you, my sister, be strong. Be strong in the Lord. No matter all those things you are going through. Yes, I know that it's been so much messy and so much has happened there and all the rest and you are even getting to question the lord why must all these things happen to you and you ask yourself it was not like this before it was not like this before why must all this happen to you you even ask yourself what have you done did you sin against god you didn't sin against god you serve the lord faithfully and faithfully and faithfully but still yet some certain things came upon your life I encourage you, my friend, trust in the Lord. It is it, not over. It has not gotten worse. It's not over until it is over. It's not over. It's not over, my friend. Still keep trusting in the Lord. The Lord is still able to do so much in that your life. He's still able to change everything for his own good. Still trust in the Lord. I know that the Lord cares for you. I know that the Lord cares for you. I know that the Lord is good. I know that the loving kindness of God is forevermore. His love is forevermore. Know that the Lord cares for you. No matter what you are experiencing right now, the story is not going to be the same forevermore. There is still going to be changes. There are times whereby you say it was not good, it was not okay, it was like this. It's for a better testimony. So the problem and the storm is so that the testimony will be big. It's not a wonderful testimony if you tell somebody for a year or for two years, I went through this. And I went through that. Wouldn't it be a better testimony? So stay there. Stay there and allow the Lord to take charge. Stay there and allow the Lord to take control. Life sometimes is not filled with so much of bed, of roses and all the rest. But the good thing about it is that I have never seen a man that put his trust in the Lord and the Lord forsook him. Ask brother David. David will tell you this simple secret. Ask Paul. Paul will tell you this simple secret. I have not seen one man that trusted in the Lord. So I encourage you, my brothers and sisters, I encourage you in the grace of Jesus Christ that be strong. Be strong in the Lord. 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 He can still bring the broken pitches together. He can bring the broken bottles together and make it whole. Just be strong in the Lord. Wait upon the Lord. There's a song you know that says, We will wait 
upon the Lord forever. We will wait upon the Lord. So keep waiting upon the Lord. Keep praying to the Lord. The Apostle Paul says praying and believing the Lord, praying in all things and not wavering, making intercessions, praying in all things and all the rest. We will wait upon the Lord. No matter the storm we go through as an individual, no matter the storm we go through as a ministry, no matter the storm we go through as brothers and sisters and as a family in Jesus, we would wait upon the Lord. We will not change our steps. We will not backslide. We will not go to the world to seek for some certain advice. We will wait upon the Lord. And our hope is going to be restored. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord God Almighty, right now, I decree upon the life of your children. We are going to, I'm going to make um, a final declaration. We are not going to spend much time. And we are going to call it a day. And we are going to go thanking the Lord. And we are just going to take some worship and, and praise the Lord for his goodness and his mercies endure it forever. The Lord is good. And his mercies endure it forever. The Lord is good. And his mercies endure it forever. The Lord is good. And his mercies endure it forever. The Lord is good. And his mercies endure it. His mercies endure it forever. Endure it for his mercies endure it forever. Oh, endure it. His mercies endure it forever. Endure it. His mercies endure it forever. Endure it. His mercies endure it forever. Oh, endure it. His mercies endure it forever. Endure it. His mercies endure it forever. Oh. Endure it, his mercies endure it forever. Endure it forever. Even in the storm, Jesus is good. Amen. Goodness and mercies are going to endure forever in your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Um, before we go to God in prayer, um, I I'm going to introduce to us, you know. The um the new monthly statement for the month of August, and um, I, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna recite that to us. I, I just I just I just did that, you know, uh, <clears throat> not quite long, and um, that mm -hmm. that's that's what we're going to be reciting at the end of every bit of our fellowship of our meetings of our departmental meetings, of our group meetings, and all the rest. That's what we are going to be reciting by the special grace of God uh, with uniformity. I'm going to share it on the Skype group um, um, today by the special grace of God. And um, I believe that the Lord is going to have his way in our life in the name of Jesus Christ. Um, okay, I just checked up the Skype group. and I saw a question there. Okay. And that somebody asked, and um, I don't know, maybe if I have time, I'm going to answer the question just speedily or so, so that uh, um, we don't, there is no confusion in the body of Christ, and we don't ask ourselves, how is this supposed to be done, and how is this supposed to be done, and all the rest. So, but I know that that question was asked from genuineness of heart, and all the rest. So, okay, I'm going to see if God is going to help me to answer the question. Okay, praise the Lord. Um, okay, the, the Monday declaration for the month of August. <laughs> praise the Lord. 
Hallelujah. I don't know. Some people smiling there. Why are we not on a video? <laughs> most of us are not on a video. Um, most of us are not on a video. Um, okay. So are we are we happy to take um, the monthly statement for this month? <laughs> yes. Amen. Okay. Um, okay, let's see. Okay, it's like this. This is my month of joy and peace. So this is my the month first... of joy and peace. Okay. The first and foremost, the first stanza of this uh, monthly uh, declaration is we are believing God to give us a lot of peace and a lot of joy from all our toy in this month. Just like he did to Joseph, he gave him Manasseh and Ephraim also. So this is my month of joy and peace. To worship God in spirit and truth. So we want to also keep worshiping God in spirit and truth. We want to worship him in the beauty of his spirit and in the beauty of his word. And that's just an explanation of the declaration. And to experience unlimited grace. Uh, we don't want to be walking by struggles and struggles and struggles as an individual or as a ministry. We want to be walking by grace. We want to be walking by grace. So there is this grace that comes with holiness. That's what I want to be walking under, you know. I don't want to be walking under by struggle. I'm not an old covenant person. So I should be walking by the grace of God. The Lord should be breaking protocols for my own sake. Isn't that very much wonderful? That the Lord breaks protocols for your own sake. The Lord does so much and all the rest. Isn't that wonderful? Isn't that powerful and all the rest? So that's what I believe the Lord is going to do for us as a ministry. So we're going to be working on that unlimited grace. Grace for divine exploits. Grace to live a life of holiness. Grace to make wealth. Grace to serve Jesus in truth and in spirit. That's what we believe the Lord. And he's going to have and he's going to do that upon our lives in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Okay? And... um. It now says, yes, so help me God. And the people of God says, amen. So I'll recite that and we're going to recite that after me. And we're going to take that when we are closing after the final declaration. Some people are very fast. <laughs> Some people have typed that. <laughs> and all the rest, okay. Uh, it says, yeah, this is my month of joy and peace. This is my month of joy. So we can recite that. This is my month of joy and peace. This, this, this is my month of joy and peace. peace. To worship God in spirit and truth. To worship to God in spirit and truth. And to experience unlimited grace. And to experience unlimited grace. So help me God. So help me God. So help me God. And the people of God say... Amen. 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 Oh, I think Sister Pascaline is like a computer. I don't know how she does that. <laughs> I'm wondering how somebody just picked that very much faster than all the rest. Okay, that's a very fast IQ there. Okay, so that's what we're going to be reciting. You know, I think it's already typed in there. So, uh, before after the final declaration, we're just going to take that and recite that together. These things are going to help us to stick together as a family to stick together as a fellowship in our meetings, in our workers' forum, in our different little uh, fellowship. We're going to have that. I'm sorry that also after, after the crusade program, I'm going to put as many meetings with us. And I think I'm going to meet, you know, the workers, you know, to do some certain things. Maybe I'm going to write a little bit of letter by the special grace of God. I don't know. And all the rest. So, but uh, after the crusade, I'm going to have a lot of meetings with us. Um, because of um, the crusade, we've not had some certain things and some fellowship meetings and, and all the rest. And um, another thing again is that um, let's try to be a part. We still have how many days to go? Today is going to be the ninth day. Well, God has been faithful to us, right? God has been faithful to us. So we, we still have um, like up to six days or something like that to go. And I believe that the Lord that has started it is going to see us 
all three in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And let's also do well to invite our friends and to invite our family and all the rest to REM as a fellowship by the grace of God so that they can also be blessed just like you are getting blessed. Go to YouTube and enjoy yourself. You know how you enjoy yourself? Just go there and enjoy yourself with videos. Some of you have unlimited data and you, it's, it's the grace of God. Just go there, enjoy yourself with videos, enjoy the grace of God, enjoy the power of God and watch and watch and watch until you get yourself blessed. So watch until you get tired and all the rest. And I believe that God is going to do something in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Go to the website also with the updated articles and we're about to create a special blog for some of our messages also so that you can just go there and go in and, and read and all the rest. So it's more food. We are not tired of bringing more food to us. So we only think of more food. We, we want you to be so more filled that uh, when you eat the food so much, your stomach is going to be so big and all the rest of that. You're going to look very healthy and you're going to look very fat and you're going to look very fresh and all the rest. That's going to be wonderful, right? So that's what we are trying to do by the special grace of God. So the idea is for you to be blessed. And that's our mindset. And I believe that the Lord is going to do that in our life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So it's a new month. It's a new month. It's a new month with new definition and all the rest. Um, let's, let's think forward. Let's bring idea. Um, also, you can freely write to me if you have ideas. Maybe some ideas as you are led. You know, sometimes I don't know if some persons are afraid to talk to me and all the rest. You know, sometimes somebody wants to talk to me says, uh, but Jesus said, I don't know, I'm thinking, you know, sorry, I don't know if this is right. I'm, I'm like, why? Or something like that. I'm your own brother, you know. So you can write to me. Write to me if there is any idea or anything, you know, you think we can put in order or you think we are not putting best. We want to also become better. I want to also become better. And as a ministry, we want to become better. And we will not become better without corrections. That's the spirit of wisdom. If you see somebody that takes correction constantly, you know that wisdom is with that person. Wisdom is to take correction. Wisdom is to apply it. And wisdom is to use it. Then you now become a better person. And also, that's the spirit of wisdom. So um, bring that and send it to my inbox so that we can become better by the special grace of God. Also, let's not miss out of our prayer meetings by the grace of God. We always have prayer meetings by 4.30 for the ongoing crusade. And maybe very soon we're going to start some other things like morning devotion and um, stuff like that to help us. I know we are from different parts and all the rest, but God is going to help us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So I'm just going to take the declaration. After I take the final declaration, we are going to take our announcement. Uh, Pascal, please don't leave. Please don't leave. Um, people are fond of doing that. If they see me leave, they just leave like that and all the rest. So please don't leave and all the rest. Let's wait until... The grace is being taken. After I finish the declaration, we're going to take announcements. After announcements, if, if there are new members, we're going to introduce you because we love you and we've been expecting you and we've been praying for you and praying for our generation by the special grace of God and the body of Christ for the Lord to rot out his fire by the grace of God. So um, let's wait for that then. You know, then uh, uh, after the announcement that we're going to take our declaration, our monthly declaration. After that, we're going to take the grace and all of us are going to say shalom, 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 shalom. And we're going mm -hmm. to have a good night's rest by the grace of God. So it's wonderful that you spent the 1st of August 2017 in the presence of God and you spent it with rapture ready and time movement. That's a very great grace. And I say may his name be glorified in the name of Jesus Christ. Okay, mm -hmm. right now, wherever you are, you can lift up your hands. You can put your hands on that place where you want the Lord to touch you. And if there is something like an anointing oil, you want to be anointed, you can bring them out. Maybe we're going to anoint them by the special grace of God. And maybe you can use that and apply that on the sick, if possible, because um, I might not be able to reach out to us physically. But I believe spiritually, all these things can send signals by the special grace of God. So it's not just the oil, but is the Holy Spirit that does the work um, through such substance. And it is very scriptural. If I didn't see it in God's word, I wouldn't be doing that and all the rest. Okay. I hope we are ready. Amen. Yes.
OK. OK, wherever you are, lift up your hands and talk to the Lord. What is that thing you want him to do for you in this month? I also want God to do some things for me in this month. In short, there are some certain things I want the Lord to do for me. Instead of me praying, God tells me that, Chilo, he just thank the Lord. The Lord has done it for you already. Amen. And I believe he's done it for us already. Amen. And the Amen. Lord is going to perfect it in our lives in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Heavenly Amen. Father, I thank you for your children. Thank I thank you, you for the ones that you have bought with your blood. And Lord. you are purified and sanctified with your blood. Lord Amen. God Almighty, they are not going to live here the same way they came in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Oh Lord, the arrows of darkness standing in their way, get away in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Oh Lord, and the spirit and the wicked cloud hovering around their life, I command you to fly away from that place right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Oh Lord, I decree upon their life and I prophesy wherever they are right now, in this month of all God, uh, the goodness and the mercies of God shall go with you. Oh Amen. Lord, you shall give them the grace to prosper in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, Lord God Almighty, every closed door closed upon their life, closed upon their Christian life, closed upon their business, Closed upon their careers. I decree, let that door be opened in the name of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Lord God Almighty, every of their divine helpers, right now begin to connect in the spirit world mm -hmm. and let it manifest in the physical world. In the mighty name of Jesus, uh, every mm -hmm. door, every door, every evil eyes of the enemy open around your life. I blindfold that eyes in the name of Jesus Christ. Every Every occultic bed, uh, every wicked bed and animal sent up to your life right now. Let the thunder fire of God hit it in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Oh Lord, wherever your children are, whatsoever has become the desires of your heart, according to the glory of God. Uh, oh Lord, according to the glory of God, uh, let it be granted right now unto them. In the name of Jesus Christ, oh Lord, Amen. wherever your children are, let your mercies, let your goodness never depart away from their life, Lord. Oh Lord, I place my hand on their forehead, uh, wherever they are right now. Uh, every hand of the enemy standing against their life, get away from that place in the name of Jesus. Uh, every evil data, uh, evil data of tears that they have put for them in the month of August, Lord, it will bypass them and they will not see it in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus, uh, better days mm -hmm. upon the life of your children. Every mark of rejection, uh, oh Lord God Almighty, and the uh, devil has put a mark of rejection so that your children will not get married, so that your children will not give birth to children, so that they will be buried, and the devil has put an evil mark and garments so that your children will not prosper, so that they will not make wealth, uh, so that they will not get good jobs. Uh. Right now, Lord, I stand uh, as the servant of the Most High, oh King of all glory, let that power be destroyed by fire in the name of Jesus. Amen. Every spiritual blanket used to cover your life. Every spiritual mask used to cover your face. Every masquerading spirit. Oh, yes, scattered by fire right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Lord, the power of your against I movement. The Bible says, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against the church of God. Every power, every agent of darkness, whether they are being human form, right now, Lord, let the fire of them, burn them up to the this is place in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Oh Lord, my God, my Lord, uh, every arrow, hey, every man. arrow injected into the children, their body, every arrow injected into the body of your children, right now, arrows, get away in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. and cause, made from their foundation, made from their villages, made from their foundation, made from their father house, uh, made from their mother house, Right now, oh yeah, scatter by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Every evil cause, uh, every evil load your children are carrying, every embargo, every evil embargo, every satanic embargo, oh yeah, scatter by fire right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Every sea, every water, every marine agent, uh, every marine power, every Bermuda triangle standing upon the life of these ones that are in rapture already in time moment. Oh yeah, scatter by fire in the name. Of Jesus, uh, every nigga uh, by the virtue of sexual intercourse, uh, by the virtue of wicked covenants, uh, by the virtue of blood covenants, uh, opening around the life of your children. I bring
bring that cause in the name of Jesus. I bring that cause in the name of Jesus. I bring that covenant in the name of Jesus. I bring that covenant in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord God Almighty, every power around their bed and wherever they sleep, they do not know. Oh Lord, under their bed, something has been hidden there. Right now, I command you to be exposed and get away from that place. In the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. Lord, every environmental power around that building uh, open and causing problem, open and causing confusion, open and causing disunity, open and causing disarray in that family. I command you by the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, get away from that place in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Oh Lord, my God. Uh, Every power that has decreed in the spirit, that has decreed on Facebook, that has decreed on YouTube, that has decreed on the internet, that the work of God will not stand. You are a liar. I pour the blood of Jesus on you. Get away from that place in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Amen. Lord, every spirit of sickness, oh Lord, wait in so that your children will spend all their life savings in the hospital. You are a liar. Oh. You are a liar. Oh. You are a liar. Oh. Lord God Almighty, right? Now I erase every spirit of sickness. Oh Lord, this month shall be free from sickness. They shall be free from sickness. They shall be free from hospital bills. They shall be free from medicine. They shall be free from drugs. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, my God. Every power speaking against your children. Is there an evil load? Oh Lord. Is there a possessive spirit against the life of those children? Ah. Speaking against those marriage. Jesus. Is there one of the children there that has been designated for evil? That has become an agent, a silent agent of darkness. Sent to disturb that family. Lord, let that child be exposed as little as he is. In the name of Jesus Christ, let every wicked demonic spirit that they have put in those little children to afflict the family. Oh Lord, I bind and I cast it into the desert. Get away where you belong in the name of Jesus. Amen. I know you. I see you. I have seen you several times. Wherever you are, you demonic power, standing against the life of the children of God. I command you. I bind and I cast you go into the desert where you belong. I command you in the name of Jesus right now, Lord God Almighty. Every wicked power in the name of Jesus, every vulture sitting in the air and sitting upon the throne of your children, every wicked vulture sitting upon the throne of your children. Oh Lord God Almighty, right now, let the fire of God burn that vulture, let the fire of God burn that strong man sitting upon the throne of your children in the mighty name of jesus every power using you for promotion every power using you for the agenda for us every power using you for rising up every power using you for blood covenant wherever you are your time is up we are scattered by fire in the name of jesus this is your month of joy and peace Amen. This is your month of joy and peace. Amen. This is your month of joy and peace. Amen. This is the month of abundance grace. Amen. Abundant grace. Grace Amen. to break protocol. Grace Amen. to rise up. Where all that nothing you will not struggle. If God has need to use the cue and all the rest, grace will speak for you. Amen. For us. Grace will speak for us. Amen. Grace will for you. Grace Amen. will speak for all of you. Wherever you are, grace will begin to speak for you. Let grace speak for you right now. Trust us wherever you are. Trust us wherever you are. Let grace speak for you. Trust us wherever you are. Let grace speak for you. Pollution and grace speak for you. Let grace speak for you. Glory is it. Let grace speak for you. Mercy, mercy, let grace speak for you. Ugona, let grace speak for you. Christiana, let grace speak for you. Sandra, let grace speak for you. Glorious, let grace speak for you. Glorious, let grace speak for you. Vasilai, let grace speak for you. Anita, let grace speak for you. Jessica, let grace speak for you. Christy, let grace speak for you. Shalom, let grace speak for you. Chukamani, let grace speak for you. Chima, let grace speak for you. Kabura, let grace speak for you. Tisha, Tisha, let grace speak for you. Kichuku, let grace speak for you. Osare, Kim, let grace speak for you. Jessica, let grace speak for you. You want let grace speak for you. 
Amen. Hallelujah. Let grace be for you. Amen. Let grace be for you, Peter Zuata. In the name of Jesus, Amen. let grace be for you. Michel Zokongu, let grace be for you. Something, let grace be for you. Mr. Rose, let grace be for you. Ella, let grace be for you. Godwin, let grace be for you. Jennifer, let grace be for you. In the name of Jesus, Jesus, let grace be for you. In the name of Jesus, whatever you are. We don't want to live a life of struggle. We don't want to live a life of struggle. I don't want to live a life of struggle in this world of God. I don't want to be struggling like the people of the world. I don't want to be struggling like unconverted people. I don't want to be struggling like heathens. I don't want to struggle. We don't want to struggle. Let grace be for rapture at the end of the Let grace be for this ministry. Let grace be for this ministry. Father, let grace be for this ministry. If we have found favor on your side, let grace be for this ministry. Let grace be for our radiant time movement. Let grace be for Rema. Let grace be for Rema. Let grace be for Rema. Let us break protocols. Let us break protocols. Lord, we do not need to be one year. We do not need to be six months. Let grace be for us. We do not need to stay longer. Let grace be for us. Let grace be for us as a ministry. Let grace be for us, uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, let grace be for the camp project. Let grace be for the camp project. Uh, let grace be for the camp project. Uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, let grace be for everything that we are about to do. Uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, we want grace. Uh, I want to follow grace. I want to follow grace. Uh, we want to follow grace. Uh, we want to follow grace. Uh, we don't want to follow law. We don't want to follow struggle. We want to follow grace. Uh, we want to follow grace. Uh, let the grace of God come upon your life. Amen. The grace of Jesus fill you. Amen. Come on, Jesus. Let this month be the month of surprises for you. Hallelujah. Surprises for you. Amen. Surprises for you. Surprise. Amen. Surprise. Amen. Surprise. Amen. This is surprises. This is surprises. Amen. This is surprises. This is surprises. This is surprises. Receive ideas in this month. Uh, I just to go about the work of the Lord. Uh, I just to go about the work of the Lord. Uh, I just to make wealth. Uh, I just don't have to serve Jesus. Uh, I just don't follow the world. Uh, receive grace. Uh, receive grace. Uh, receive grace to become all God wants you to become. Uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, receive grace. Receive grace. Receive grace. Receive grace, uh, receive grace uh, to work with Jesus. Jesus, uh, grace Amen. to walk in holiness, uh, grace to walk with righteousness, uh, grace Amen. to make heaven at last, uh, grace to stand before the throne of God, uh, grace to make it to heaven, uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, Amen. grace Amen. to be rapture ready, Amen. See that grace? grace to be rapture ready, Amen. when Jesus comes, uh, grace to go up with Jesus. Grace to go up with Jesus. Uh. Grace Amen. to live a life above sin. Uh. Grace Amen. to live a life above sin. Uh. Grace Amen. to be masters and masteries over sin. Uh. In the name of Jesus Christ. 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 Grace upon grace. 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 In the name of Jesus. Anoint the oil. Amen. I am on that oil that you are with there right now. Let the fire of the Holy Ghost rest upon that oil. Anytime you use that oil, wherever Amen. you use that oil, on your body, in your houses, uh, on any substance, uh, it will change to the blood. Uh, the blood of Jesus Christ will not be effective there. In the name of Jesus, uh, whenever you use it on the city, Whenever you use it on the sick, whenever you use it on the sick, uh, let healing move. Let healing move uh, by the power of Jesus. By the power of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amen. He has done it. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Jesus. He, over he has done it. Alpha and Omega, he has done it. He has done this for you, Jesus. He has done it. He has done it. Jehovah Jireh. Jehovah Jireh. He has done it for you, 
Jesus, he has done it. He has done it. Alpha and Omega, he has done it. Alpha and Omega, he has done it. He has done it for you, Jesus. He has done it. He has done it. Jehovah Jireh. Jehovah Jireh. He has done it for you, Jesus. He has done it. He has done it. Jehovah Jireh. He has done it. Alpha and Omega. He has done it. For you, let me hear you say hallelujah. 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 Pascaline to continue. She's going to take the announcement. She's going to take the um, remote declaration. Then she's going to take the grace also. And um, I'm going to answer that question on the Skype group. I don't want to answer it here uh, because we are public, you know. So I'm going to answer the question on the Skype group. Okay. okay. God bless okay. you. So let's wait until we hear the grace and that's when we can go. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 We thank God. The Lord Jesus has done it for all of us in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Let, let us open our mouths and pray for the man of God that the Lord God Almighty will replenish everything that he has lost, his strength, 
Let the Lord God Almighty be with you now, anoint him even more, more faith, more strength, more power, more anointing, more everything that is God Almighty. Amen. Amen. Let us cover him and his household and his family, his, his triplet brothers. Let's cover them with the blood of Jesus. That any, any way that the enemy wants to come against them because of the ministrations that they have been given to us, even because of this prayer tonight, that the enemy will not see them. In the mighty name of Jesus, let us right now with the blood of Jesus. let us cover all our blessings tonight with the blood of jesus and no strong man will be able to take them no prince of petra no principality of power will be able to seize our blessing from us in the mighty name of jesus let's cover our blessings with the blood of jesus right now our prayers our prayers tonight the answer to our prayers let us begin to cover them now with the blood of jesus let us cover Ram with the blood of Jesus that no weapon fashioned against Ram shall prosper. The gates of hell shall not prosper against this ministry. Let us begin to cover this ministry with the blood of Jesus right now. Amen. Amen. Sister Jessica. 
Can yes. you please um, tell us the announcement? Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is Rapture Ready. This is Rapture Ready End Time Movement. It's a non-denominational ministry instituted by our Lord Jesus Christ through a great burden to win more souls to the kingdom of God by populating heaven and depopulating hell. The, mo the movement is said to prepare the church for rapture of saints and a, and a last day revival of souls. The ministry is a part of the vision of Brother Anne Leche Doze after over 50 encounters with the Lord Jesus Christ, including the agony of hell, heaven, rapture, tribulation, the kingdom of darkness, and many more, and having a huge body to set the earth on fire for Jesus as we fill the earth with the blazing fire of revival. The ministry hopes to set the hunger of billions of souls all over the world to love Jesus with all their hearts through a strong discipleship training, divine revelations from the Lord Jesus, the word of God, the last day revivals, and many more. The movement tends to reach out to souls all over the world through undiluted holiness messages and to let people feel the power of the Holy Ghost as the Lord confirmed his word with signs and wonders. You can join us on Skype with REM member as we journey to heaven. We have our fellowship in Germany, South Africa, Ghana, and spreading in other countries soonest. We have our, our weekly fellowship, our weekly program. We have our weekly programs, which are Mondays by 1 a.m. is night video, Bible study 7 p.m. on Wednesday, charismatic fire hour on Thursday by 7 p.m., children's program Saturday by 4 p.m., discipleship class Sunday by 12 p.m., followed immediately by Sunday worship at 1 a.m., men and women's fellowship by 5 p.m., um, the men fellowship are twice in a week, twice in a month. I think month, uh, the first Sunday and the, the third Sunday. Then the women's fellowship is every Sunday by 5 p.m. All of them by 5 p.m. The two of them are by 5 p.m. Workers meeting also is also on Tuesday by 7 p.m. But throughout, the, um, we've been on, on our crusade for, the, the, for, for 14 days and this is our ninth day. It's going to be the ninth day. So all the programs except, will not be holding except the children program. The children program will be holding on, on Saturday by 4 p.m. And all the Sunday programs will also be holding. Both Sunday services um, will also be holding. The Sunday services, which is by 1 p.m. All of them and every other one on Sunday will be holding. And also the children's services. We also urge you people Please join us with your family. On Saturdays that we are going to have our children's fellowship, please we encourage us to please prepare our children uh, so that they can join us to um, journey to this heaven and also know what is how to live a holy, a holy life and also please God. And also join us on, us on all our Sunday services with your family. If you come with your family, you, it will be more enjoyable so that everyone will journey to heaven at the same time. We also give in our tithe and offering through the ministry account to support the ministry. And also we have an ongoing camp project as we build a camp for deliverance and prayer in Nigeria. This camp project is a project that we have in Nigeria so that we can be able to come together as the children of God anytime we come back home to Nigeria. Nigeria, those that are from Nigeria or from every other country, whenever we come back home, we can still see where we will receive this grace and great anointing that we are receiving um, through this internet. We can still receive it from home as well. For the tithe and offering and camp project and Zoom subscription also, if you we encourage you to please help and donate so that the work of God will be, uh, will be moving ahead. If you want to help donate, you can contact our sister, Sister Charity. Those that are in Europe can contact Sister Charity. Those that stay in US, please contact Sister Pascaline. Those that are in Germany, please contact Brother Sunday. And all those that are in Africa, please contact Brother Godwin. We pray that 
the Lord God will strengthen us and also give us the grace to accomplish his will and also to journey to heaven at the same time. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, sister, for the announcement. Um, I also want to remind us that we now also have the U.S. chapter. So um, please contact Brother Chidoze if you want to be added on the in the U.S. chapter of the REM Fellowship. And also we are having, again, this whole week, the crusade is continuing this week. Please, as you are watching on Facebook, the crusade, remember to share, remember to share to many different groups, invite your friends so that many more people can come and receive this very grace that we are receiving and also to be able to be blessed and let the chains be broken from their lives. And uh, we also notice that people are sharing on their timeline. Like one person can just keep share, share now, click share now, click share now. The way you now go and see the people who shared, you realize that somebody shared, just share, share, share. You go, to, you know, it's on their same very timeline. It's not, it's not work, it's not working that way. You you need to share it just one time on your timeline, and then you now share it to other groups so that other people will be able to be exposed to the live ministration and they can also uh, come and join us in this ministry. The Lord will bless us as we do so in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 Let us take our monthly declaration for the new month of August. <laughs> this is my month of joy and peace. This is my this month, is my of, month joy. of joy and peace. To worship God in spirit and truth. To worship, worship God in spirit and in truth. And to experience unlimited grace. And to experience unlimited grace. So help me God. So help me God. And all the people say, Amen. Amen. Let us share the grace in fellowship. May the grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the love of our God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with us now forevermore. Amen. Amen. Shalom, shalom, everybody. Shalom. Shalom. Good afternoon, good evening, good night, wherever you are. Good night. Oh,